Hello and welcome to Youth TV. Today we're going to be looking at the Heiko FX888D soldering iron. So let's head across the workbench and give it the once over. Okay, so this I ordered from Amazon and arrived this morning. This is the Hako FX888D soldering station. So this is the box that came in. Uh, available in two choices of colour, silver or blue and yellow. I've gone for the blue and yellow. Nice box. One of the concerns with this particular model is that there are a lot of um, fakes out there, Chinese fakes. Hopefully this will be a genuine article. Let's find out. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. So we have some bits of paperwork. We've got the Hako additional information sheet. We'll look at that later. Two instruction manuals, one in English, one in other languages. So again, we'll go through this a bit later, but first impressions. nice and clear. Okay. So obviously we have the iron itself on the top. Soldering stand base, and on the right we have the soldering unit itself. It appears to be everything from the box. So, first impressions, it's nice and light. So, um, it's a very large plug on the end of it. It's obviously a, uh, a universal plug adapter of some sort, but rated with a 13 amp fuse which is correct okay so let's look at the unit itself so we have the Hako FX triple eight D ESD safe as a socket on the front for the um, the irons plug obviously up an enter button Branding on the top, on the right, nice little on off button, on the back, nothing, and on the bottom we have three labels, serial number, looks like a date code, and the main Hako label. Apparently, one of the ways you can tell whether it's a fake, the fake has apparently a much smaller label. The genuine one, the label reaches the full gap between these two front um, feet. So 230 volts, 70 watts, 50 hertz. Signed by the designer himself. Okay. So let's just zoom out again. So the, the iron stand, nice rubber feet on the bottom. I'll notice there's two little earth symbols here. Not quite sure. But it's metal, so you could attach a metal earthing bond to that. Okay. So apparently another way of defining whether it's real or a fake is if you take out the bottom tray, the real ones have this metal insert. The fake ones don't. It's it's a metal construction. It's not plastic. It's it's cast iron, I assume. So put that back on. 
So let's put these sponges and things in. Unusual to see a, a grey sponge, but I think that's one of the features, trademarks of Hakko itself. It has two slots and some little semicircular bit, not sure what they're for, but that goes in there obviously. And the little wire, wire cleaning wire. I prefer this to the sponge personally, it keeps your eye in temperature constant without dipping it into a wet sponge. So this just pushes into this little slot here. Like so. So you just push your iron into that. And clean it off as opposed to touching it on a wet sponge which would reduce the temperature for a few seconds. I do like the two slots, it means you can get your iron into there and wipe all surfaces of it. This particular model comes with a conical bit which a lot of people don't like, including myself, so I will be, will be replacing that with either a chisel bit or a screwdri screwdriver shaped bit. The um, iron itself is nice and light. Feels good in the hand. Nice spongy grip. Um, you can see on the, the writing on the handle itself, the soldering iron. It's a Hakko soldering iron FX 8801, 26 volt, 65 watts. Again, ESD safe. Uh, another another feature of the genuine irons is that the the, um, the flexible cable, I forget what it's called, sorry, this bit, it's very flexible. On the fake one it's rigid plastic and very difficult to move, so that's another good sign that it's real. And to change the bits on these, it's quite simple, it has a simple thumb grip. That's actually rather quite tight, I may have to use a screwdriver or a spanner on that, sorry. But uh, you basically undo that. And then the bit slides out, new bit slides in and retighten that collar. But there we go. So let's just plug this in. Again, it's a very nice flexible cable. It has a one, two, three, four, five, six pin plug notch at the top lines up with the notch at the top on the base unit so let's plug that in pushes in nice and firmly so as with all new irons the cable will take a little while to straighten out and soften up but that's nice nice firm grip if you look carefully the inner circle of the um, the iron holder has these little rubber inserts which help to get a hold of the iron and stop it from sliding around too much. So that's a nice feature. So there we have it. Of course the only way to confirm it is a genuine hacko is to open up the base unit and have a look at the circuit board. Okay, let's plug it in and see how it looks. So, we turn it on at the mains, and of course, the on switch is on the right, so let's turn it on. And we get a display of 350 degrees. So it's set at 350 by default, and as you can see, it's climbing to temperature now. That's quite a rapid increase. So once it gets to temperature, we'll actually test that temperature to see how accurate the device actually is. So there we go. 
350 degrees. Not sure if that's Celsius or Fahrenheit. We'll have to have a look. But I'm going to take my little temperature probe for my multimeter and we'll measure the actual tip just to see whether it is actually correct. So let's put this on to temperature. That's there so we can see it. Plug in the little temperature probe and then let's have a look. Let's touch the, the probe to the tip and see what we get. So we've got Three hundred and it's hovering around the three hundred mark. I moved slightly there, so let's have a look. Let's try that again. Yeah, it's creeping up to three hundred nicely. So that's pretty good. Of course, the display says 350, so we may have to calibrate that slightly. So you can see, it should be 350. So we may have to calibrate that. There is a sequence in the menu system to do that. Okay. Hi, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see more, please click the video over here. Also, why not subscribe to our channel? We release videos three times a week on subjects about electronics, making things, building things, just having a good time in the workshop. So why not click the button below and subscribe. Thank you.